So we also want to start out with sharing our story of how we met. <laughs> like y'all know. And I'm super nervous. I'm super nervous, so I'm going to fidget. Woo! We'll look at each other. We're working on our communication because we're in a relationship with you. Yeah. <laughs> so the story of how we met is that I was organizing Black Transmedia before Olympia came in and was hosting community events and monthly events. And I did an event called Black Trans Love as well. And it was um, in name of uh, Nikki Giovanni saying that black love is wealth. Like in a community where we experience so much violence, love is like a richness. And I felt like as a trans person, to have love, to be a black trans person and have love is so much wealth. Or to be trans people here and have love in this room, I feel so rich. So I hosted this event. I cook a lot of food. I invite a bunch of people I do not know <laughs> who are black trans folks to come and be in the space. And Olympia was one of the people who I had never met before who showed up that evening. And I was lost. And I posted on the page, on the event page, like, where's the location? Not even realizing that it was on the fly, my mistake. So, <laughs> and when I got there and this person opened the door, I was just like, he is just so magical. <laughs> it sounds cheesy, but it was on so many levels just touching. And then he showed me the way. I went inside. There were a couple of people there, um, some uh, who I knew that invited me to the space. And it was really calm and cool and relaxing. And the way that he held the space was so attractive. <sighs> it's just everything to me. Just, Amazing. And we had a conversation about what love meant, and I was explaining to him that I just came from an event that I um, recited my poem, Triceratops, and he asked me... Well, I was, ho I was about to organize a black trans poetry event. So not only was she this amazing and had come into my life and was just everything, but then she actually felt, she had just walked in, we had been talking a little bit, and she was like, yeah, I'll read the poem. And I was like, that's really cool really brave of you. I, I want to hear it. So she spit And it, it went off. something like this. Inductees, it was silly on me, now realizing pain is free. Masked by greatness, overshadowed by love. No wonder why we walk around like we got it all. Flaws make us perfect, but we reject it. And see, I turned it. Credentials don't match with most say, but we believe it anyway. Why? Because it's spoken? I'm broken and my thoughts subsided to a place where thoughts can bloom. One day, I'll have a groom. Yeah, me. The boy girl. The girl boy. And she said that? <laughs> I, I didn't even know this woman, and when she said she was looking for that groom, that person, I wanted that to be me. And I thought, what right do I have to say that? I don't even know this woman. I shouldn't feel like I could be that person. But I am that person. 